What if the Philippines is sitting on a hidden energy source, more powerful than oil, more valuable than gold, and cleaner than any fuel ever discovered? In our last video, we revealed the trillion-dollar potential of deuterium in the Philippine deep. But now, we ask the bigger question. If it's real, who controls it? And why is it still untapped? This might be the most important mystery the world hasn't solved. Deep beneath the rolling waves of the Philippine Sea, where sunlight barely penetrates and the ocean stretches endlessly to the horizon, lies a secret that has captured the imagination of scientists, dreamers, and visionaries for decades. Hidden far below the surface, the Mindanao Trench plunges to depths of over 10,000 meters, making it not only one of the deepest parts of the ocean on Earth, but also one of the least explored and most mysterious. This vast underwater canyon is a place of crushing pressure, perpetual darkness, and untold secrets. For years, scientists and researchers from around the world have speculated that within the cold, dark waters of this trench lies a massive, untapped reserve of deuterium. Deuterium, sometimes called heavy hydrogen, is a rare and valuable isotope of hydrogen. Unlike ordinary hydrogen, each atom of deuterium contains an extra neutron, making it especially useful for advanced energy applications. In theory, deuterium could be harnessed as a clean, nearly limitless fuel for nuclear fusion, the same process that powers the sun. If this resource could be extracted and utilized, it could revolutionize the world's energy landscape, providing power without the pollution or carbon emissions of fossil fuels. Some early studies and bold predictions have estimated the potential value of this deuterium reserve in the trillions of dollars, a figure so large it's almost hard to comprehend. For the Philippines, this could mean a transformation from a developing nation into a global energy superpower, with the ability to export clean energy to the world and reshape its own economy for generations to come. The promise of jobs, technological advancement, and national pride has fueled countless discussions and debates, Yet despite the staggering potential and the dreams of prosperity, the reality on the ground tells a different story. No major projects have been launched. No official exploration missions have been undertaken. Government agencies, energy companies and research institutions remain largely silent, with meeting rooms empty and laboratories quiet. The world watches but nothing seems to move forward. The ocean remains undisturbed, its surface calm and silent, as if guarding its secrets. The question lingers in the air, with so much at stake, why has nothing happened? What forces, seen or unseen, are keeping the deuterium treasure locked away beneath the waves? When it comes to the question of who truly owns the vast resources hidden beneath the ocean, international law provides a clear framework. One of the most important legal instruments in this regard is UNCLOSE, the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. This global agreement, signed by over 160 countries, sets out the rights and responsibilities of nations in their use of the world's oceans, establishing guidelines for businesses, the environment, and the management of marine natural resources. It's a cornerstone of modern maritime law, shaping how countries interact with the sea and what they can claim as their own. According to Yun Kalos, the Philippines has what's called an Exclusive Economic Zone, or EEZ, this is a special area extending 200 nautical miles from its coast, where the country has exclusive rights to explore, exploit, conserve, and manage all natural resources, both living and non-living, found in the water column and on or under the seabed. This means that within this vast stretch of ocean, only the Philippines can legally tap into the wealth hidden below, from fish to minerals, and yes, even rare elements like deuterium. Now here's where things get really interesting. The Philippine Deep, also known as the Mindanao Trench, lies squarely within this exclusive zone. This underwater trench is not just a geographical marvel, it's believed to be one of the richest sources of deuterium in the world. Deuterium, a rare isotope of hydrogen, has the potential to revolutionize energy production, making the Philippine Deep a site of immense strategic and economic value. Legally speaking, this means that the deuterium reserves found in the Philippine Deep are, without question, the property of the Philippines. The government holds the authority to regulate access, grant exploration rights, and decide how these resources are developed or protected. In the eyes of international law, no other nation or foreign entity can lay claim to these resources without the explicit consent of the Philippine government. Yet. As with many valuable resources, the story doesn't end with legal documents and official boundaries. 
Behind closed doors, there have been persistent whispers of foreign interest, powerful nations and multinational corporations quietly monitoring developments, eager to gain a foothold in this potentially game-changing energy source. Some say that diplomatic channels have been buzzing with activity, as outside players look for ways to influence decisions or secure a share of the prize. There are even rumors of secret negotiations involving some of the world's largest energy companies and perhaps insiders within the government itself. These deals, if they exist, are shrouded in secrecy, taking place far from the public eye, in boardrooms and back channels where the stakes are high and the rewards could be enormous. The potential profits from deuterium extraction are so vast that they could reshape the energy landscape, not just for the Philippines, but for the entire world. So, the question lingers. Is the truth about deuterium's ownership and potential already known to a select few? Hidden away from the public, waiting for the right moment to be revealed? Or is the world still in the dark, unaware of the real power and intrigue swirling beneath the surface of the Philippine deep? The answers may be closer than we think, but for now, they remain shrouded in mystery. Many say the reason deuterium hasn't been tapped is because technology isn't ready. Yes, separating deuterium from seawater is expensive, and turning it into usable fuel requires fusion technology, which is still developing. But others argue, it's not just technology, it's politics. There are claims that some people in power may be delaying any move toward deuterium, to protect oil interests, maintain foreign trade dependencies, or even to hide something deeper. And if true, this isn't just about energy, it's about control, power, and the future of the nation. Right now, the world is racing toward cleaner energy. From the bustling cities of Asia to the windswept plains of Europe, nations are scrambling to find the next big breakthrough that will power our future. The stakes have never been higher. As climate change accelerates and fossil fuels become less viable, the pressure is on to find sustainable, reliable, and affordable sources of energy that can meet the demands of a growing global population. Every country wants to be at the forefront of this new energy revolution, not just for the environment, but for economic and political power as well. Countries are investing billions in hydrogen, fusion, and renewables. International summits are filled with heated debates and ambitious pledges. Governments are pouring resources into research and development, hoping to unlock the secrets of clean energy before their rivals do. Hydrogen fuel cells promise a future of emission-free vehicles and industries. Solar and wind are transforming skylines and landscapes, but perhaps the most exciting and elusive goal is nuclear fusion, a technology that could provide nearly limitless energy with minimal environmental impact. But here's the crazy part. Deuterium is the key fuel for nuclear fusion, the holy grail of clean energy. Unlike traditional nuclear power which relies on rare and dangerous materials, fusion uses deuterium, a stable isotope of hydrogen found in seawater. If scientists can master fusion, it could mean an era of abundant, safe, and clean power for everyone. The world's top minds are racing to make this dream a reality, and whoever controls the supply of deuterium could hold the keys to the future. So if the Philippines really has the largest deuterium deposits, then the country is sitting on the most valuable energy reserve of the future. Imagine the potential, a nation long known for its beautiful islands and hardworking people suddenly finds itself at the center of a global energy revolution. The world's eyes would turn to the Philippines, eager to secure access to this critical resource. It could transform the country's economy, create new industries, and elevate its status on the world stage. That means, whoever controls it, could control global energy in the next 50 years. The balance of power could shift overnight, international alliances would be tested, and new partnerships would form. The Philippines could find itself negotiating with the world's biggest powers, setting the terms for the energy that will drive the 21st century. It's a scenario that could redefine geopolitics, economics, and the very future of our planet. Imagine the Philippines not just exporting labor, but exporting energy. Tankers filled with deuterium leaving its ports, high-tech facilities processing and shipping this precious resource to every corner of the globe. The country could become a hub for innovation, attracting investment, talent, and technology from around the world. For the first time, the Philippines could be a major player in the global economy, shaping the future instead of just reacting to it. A small island nation, suddenly a global superpower. The Philippines, once overlooked, could rise to become a leader in the new energy era, its influence felt in every corner of the world. The global energy game is changing, 
and the next move could belong to the Philippines. But here's the question no one wants to ask. Who benefits from keeping deuterium untapped? The answer may not be foreign powers alone. It could be local elites, oil lobbyists, or institutions that profit from the current system. Because if the Philippines wakes up to its true energy potential, the balance of power would shift. Forever. That's why the silence may not be accidental. It could be deliberate. So we ask again, what if deuterium is real? And if it is, who really controls it? The Philippines could be the key to the next global energy revolution. But only if the truth is exposed and the people demand action. What do you think? Is deuterium being hidden from us? Who do you believe is in control? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Let your voice be heard. And if you want more truth-seeking videos like this, like, share, and subscribe. The fight for truth is just getting started.